Hey everyone, Mango Seminole here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Brown Dust. Uh, we started this out today. Epic Seven was on maintenance, and um, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. So uh, I decided to keep playing it, and I decided to show you guys how to re-roll, how I'm doing it, and who to go for. Who to go for is really um, kind of iffy, you know? Like, there's obviously tier lists out there, but I don't like to follow tier lists because, as we all know, they recommended Ravi and Hawk for the last two games we played, and we all know how well that turned out. So um, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to kind of go for... Um, who I like, but I'll, I'll show you who people are saying are good, and we'll just show you how I'm deciding to reroll this game. I've already got a Lucius account, which is the number one people uh, think people are saying to keep, so um, I'm a little greedy. I want more than that, so I guess we'll see. So we start off with enter your nickname. We're just going to do Mango7 Rerollerino. Oh, we don't go. Reroller's fine. Um, I'm honestly not sure if you can change your name later, but I do know your name doesn't save. So if you uh, happen to reset your account, um, that name gets released immediately. So there's no, no worries there. Um, this is probably the easiest rerolling game I've ever played as well. Uh, so that is fantastic. Like it's so easy to reroll and it's actually fun because the reroll is different each time around basically. So there's two ways to do this. The first one is the easiest one. I'm just spamming click as fast as I can right now getting into our mailbox. The first thing we want to do is go to settings and turn off quest pop-up. That is the most annoying thing. Turn that off right away. And we want to go into our mail. We can just hit get all. You don't have to get everything here, but I do just because, um, because I can. And right now, as of the game release, you get two free five stars right off the bat. And we got Elijah, who looks quite great. And we also got Aina, who I also really like. I don't know if she's good or not, but I really, really enjoy her character. Um, we can also click over to permanent here, and we can get a four-star defender, Renee, and we can also get an RNG four-star, Risa. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you want to take a look at the characters, this is when you can do it. You can go into um, book here. You can see all the characters, and just to kind of clarify things here, Legend are basically the rare ones. If you come from Epic 7, these are apparently much like the Moonlight versions. They're super rare. These are the ones you kind of want to keep going for. They are called Octo Units, I, I believe. I'm sorry, I'm not as well versed at this. I'm still in the reroll stage. You can only get four of them from the initial reroll. So this is going to be Lucius, um, who is apparently the best unit in the game. Asmond, who's got his harem down there. Oh lordy, do I want this guy. Um, there is also, uh, where is she? Levia, who is apparently also very, 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 very good. And there's a final one. Where is the final one? Final one is Val's, I believe. Holy, I hope I'm not wrong, but I think it's Val's there. Um, the one I want is this one, but I don't know how to get her yet. Maminer, she's, yes, she's on a tentacle. Yes, that's awesome. So right off the bat, we can just reroll right here, right here. Let's just go roll. We hit shop, then recruit, and we start off with 32 pulls. Um, we get 10 free and then 22 in here. Again, this might be different depending on the day you log in. Um, one thing to mention, you cannot get the legendary summons from right here. So this is something you cannot get the good stuff from. But what I like to do is start with my initial two five stars and then also um, try to get another five star in this batch. So what we'll do is go through the 10 here and you can just hit skip through everything. Um, that's a four star there. We got a four star Esther and we can do again, skip through everything again. We ended up, wow, that's the most four stars I've ever got. Four four stars here. Um, not the, the best ones. <laughs> that guy is not so attractive. Um, so we're also going to go over here and we've got our 10 pulls here. So we're just gonna click through it really quickly here. Um, because this is one of the beautiful parts about this game and the reroll system is how easy it is. Like, it is so unbelievably easy to reroll. Um, and we're just going to keep rerolling until we get a single five star here. And I think we're almost run out here. Yeah, there we go. So we're out. So this is a failed reroll attempt, um, but that's okay. That took two minutes to get here. And all we do is hit this little settings cog up at the top. We hit delete account. Do not hit the bottom right delete account. Hit the middle left delete account and we will just type in one nine six 
5-0. There is a three minute timer on this and you can actually reroll before that three minutes is up, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, so we are just going to spam click again. It's really quickly. You don't have to download anything, super easy. And then hopefully get a five star to lead us through to the second part. If we don't get a five star this next time, I'll just um, do it off screen and then come back to the next part. Pretty cool story though. Um, seems to be a lot invested into it seven years later. Coincidence? So again, I forget what name we use, Mango 7 Reroller, I think. We can see we can use the same name, no problem. And we're literally back here already. And because we clicked quest off last time, the quest pop-ups off last time, we don't have to deal with it this time. Just the first time you have to deal with it. Um, and then we go straight in. Can you believe how easy that was? Holy. We go straight in, already back to everything. We can get our two five stars again. We got Rafina, that's who I have on my main right now. And Michaela, she looks cool too. Go into here, permanent, and we'll get our two. You don't have to get everything, but I'm a completionist and I hate seeing them in here. Risa again, hype, that's a random four star, so. Uh, then we go back into recruit and chance up, and we'll go over here, try to pull Lillian. There's three banners you can go into, Lillian, Victor, and Marie, or Mary. Um, I'm told Lillian is the best one to go for. She seems like the best early game one. They've also got Butt Lady over there. Um, I really hope we summon Butt Lady so you guys can experience Butt Lady in all our glory. Uh, hey! We got A! So that's one five star here. That's awesome. So we're definitely going to take this one to the legendary place to get a five star. Um, legendary dude, Octo, whatever they're called. Um, Viola here. That's a four star. And then we'll do our singles over here. Maybe get a second five star. Lucrezia, oof, I love her design. So awesome. Britain. You'll see a lot of Britons because he's definitely on the banner right now. Perfect, okay, so we got one five star. From this point on, it's actually really easy again. We just go into campaign in the bottom right under my face and hit part one. And our goal is to get to somewhere in the range of 2.5 to 2.10 in terms of the world. Um, because that's when you get enough to do your first legendary summon thingy. So what we'll do here, we will hit deploy and you have two options. One, you can hit auto deploy right here and then go like this. Um, I don't like to do it this way because it's not as fun for me. I want to see the new characters I got. So I like to try to use the characters I um, I summon this time around just to get an idea of what they feel like. So the shield is tank in the bottom, the hat is magician, the sparkles is support, and the attack one is this, the sword is warrior. So I'm going to put a tank in the front. I'm not the best at this yet, so um, I basically just put everything behind my tank. And we can see we have 105 cost of 150, so we have enough for 45 more cost. I want to put her in here, but she doesn't really attack, and we just want to speed this up as much as we can. And then we can pick a four star or a three star there and hit start battle. So now everybody is going to attack my tank. They're going to get um, bodied by her. All done. We can click two times in the bottom under my face here. You can see, make sure you click two times to make this as fast as possible. Um, the combat system is something you can learn later if you decide you want to play this game a little more but in general if you just put one of your tanks in front and your dps behind or anybody behind for that matter you'll be able to auto up to um where it matters so we'll just keep going through um roxana's so waifu unfortunately i don't think you can get her yet and again just click through all of the things really quick this takes about five to ten minutes maybe maybe closer to ten minutes to do um but i think it's definitely worth doing just because if you have a chance like a decent chance to get a very rare unit you should probably start with it at the start of a gacha game like this uh i do know that they're really low rates for the legendaries which is pretty good sometimes because you don't want everybody to have everything um and it's about ooh, my three star got the um special thing there i think it's about 0.2% on the legendary summon per summon. 
So we are just gonna keep autoing here. We're at 1-3. Um, I'll actually just do this and then come back when we're at in the 2-1-2 two, two, two range just to see um, the next step because honestly, all we're gonna do is hit auto for the next little bit. So we'll see in a little second here. Okay, we're into chapter two now, and we have a couple options here. One, you can go straight up to 210-ish, and that's enough to uh, get enough crystals for the thing we're doing. Or instead, you can go to about 2-2 or 2-3, and depending on what you summoned, that should be enough. So we're going to try going to 2-2 and seeing if we can get enough here. Um, you get extra, I don't know what the currency is called in this game, extra crystals, whatever you want to call them. Um, every hero you summon, every new hero you summon, and there's achievements related to those heroes, so we should be able to get a bunch from this. Um, also, stage two is when you start fighting bombers, so if you don't have like a tank in the front, a bomber is going to just blow everything up. So we'll do one more here, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get enough. Go to 2-3. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll go to 2-2 two, two and try to get RNG. You usually have just enough. We need 600 currency, so. And that bomb right there, um, if my melee or my um, really weak DPS were near the tank there, they would have gotten blown up, so. This is my favorite tank so far that I've used when I've been re-rolling. She just does so much damage as a tank. Um, not many people can do that. A lot of them just barely do anything. Okay, back we go, back we go. We're just going to spam here. And let's go back to the home screen, top left button there. Please, teach me. And there's a quest complete button right above my face here. Um, and we're just going to spam, click, get reward here. Eventually it's going to send us to the summon place. Uh, and then we're going to go straight to class over here and we are going to go straight to our mercenary summon. I'm usually a three star from that. I've never got anything more than a three star. Then we go back to the quest in the bottom right again and just keep spamming clicking. Eventually it's going to make us summon again. Then we'll go back into here and summon a defender one. The loan. You're ugly, buddy. And then we'll go back, complete all the rewards. Um, perfect. And then it makes this open. We go back, quest complete. Spam, click again. Spam, click. Um, and I think next one. Yeah, next one sends us to the campaign. So we are now at 351. What we can do now is click on mission in the bottom left here. Accept some crystals there. And then we hit achievement in the top and accept some more crystals here. Perfect, that puts us at 424, so I'm going to say 420 for now. Then we go to our book and find all the characters we got. So we go down, we hit growth under Brisa here because we got her and we can collect 10 there. So we're at 430, we can go to Viola. We're at 440, we can grab this one here. 450, this one's here. 460. Um, 470, 480, 490, 505, and we'll go to Defender here next, um, 520, 530, 540, 550, 555, 560, we're getting close. Ah, oh, there we go, 575 from A. Um, five, ooh, Lucretia, I forgot we got here. 585, 590, then two more, and we should have just enough. We should have 604, I think. Um, 604 summons, perfect. So once we have this amount, we can click on shop again. In the bottom middle, we'll click on Diamond Shop. We will buy this Legend Scroll package. Purchased, yay! And then we'll click the mailbox in the top, take out our Legend Scroll package here. And then we go back into the shop. Um, we go to Recruit. And this is where we pray to RN Jesus here. So we are going to be doing a Legendary Summon. We have a chance of recruiting Lucius, Levia, Valze, and Asmode. 
Um, those are the four legendaries that I really think you should start with. Um, I think they're so rare that you really don't want to start with anything else because there's just no reason to with how easy it is. Um, so we're just going to start here. Wow, we got a five star right off the bat. Oh my god, if we got... <laughs> exactly, that's me too, Roxana. Oh my god, look who's here. If we get a Lucius off the first pull, so help me. Ah, uh, Jin, okay, okay. That's a troll five star. Not a troll five star, he's still... Um, he's still a five star, but he's not one of the legendary ones. You can get non-legendaries from this. So if you're not crazy, a pull like this is definitely a good start. Just having a couple five stars. Um, I would specifically go for any specific five star you're going and just do the reroll right at the start. If you're just looking for five stars and nothing else. Um, but for somebody like me who really just wants to start off with as strong as possible, um, I'm going to go for one of those four. Oof, oof, she's something else. Um, pretty good rates from this. Wow, that's a lot of four stars. This account has gotten a ridiculous amount of four stars. Not looking like anything. Okay, so that's everything there. So we got Jin who, again, we can tell he's not one of the legendary ones because he's not in the legendary section. Um, so this is where you reroll again. Uh, if you are not crazy, you can go with this. We've got Michaela, Jin, A, and Rafina. Um, a good amount of five stars and also a ton of four stars, and this works. But uh, like I said, I would way rather roll for one of these legend units here. So take your pick. From what I understand, Lucius is the best. And I guess I did tell you what characters to go for as well. And I will try to link some tier lists in the bottom just to be super clear. I hate tier lists with a passion. Um, follow them at your own risk. But I know you guys are going to whine for it. So I'm going to just tell you. I do recommend um, the number one people seem to be recommending right now is... Um, where is she? Seer here. She's the one people seem to recommend more than anybody else. Um, outside of Lucius's course. So if you're just going for a single five star, maybe that one's a good one to start with. Um, but I would honestly just pick waifu status because um, that's what these games are about. And look at some of these waifus, uh, specifically Glacia. I love Glacia to death. She um, has her own little teacup. And one thing to note too, is we have our combat image here. And if you want to see some more of these characters, you can go down to their awakening and see what they look like in their like final form. Um, also, a lot of them have costumes as well, so if you're kind of basing your decisions off of something like that, you can go to the shop here and go to the costume shop and um, take a look at the different costumes here. There's a couple of these I really like, like Angelica is one of my favorite looking characters, and I would love to get her. Um, there's so many cool ones here. So yeah, um, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful day, and let me know what you pull in the comments below. Bye!